Rigging Station. Brought to you by Diamond Fishing, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line. Hi, and welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV, and welcome to our rigging station. Myself and Captain Carlos are out aboard our CB370Z. You're watching us daytime sword fishing. We're fishing an area about 25 miles southeast of Hillsborough Inlet. There's a series of depressions and hills and, and, and cliffs and ledges out there, and that's where these swordfish are during the day. Daytime sword fishing is very, very technical, and it's super important that you're properly prepared. You don't know if that next fish that eats your bait is going to be 50 pounds or 500 pounds. So you've got to prepare for everything. Otherwise, it could be a super frustrating experience and you could really lose the fish of a lifetime. It all starts with a rod and reel, a Lingren Pittman S1200 loaded with thousands of yards of 65 pound diamond braid. The reel is matched to a Chaos 60 to 100 pound class daytime deep drop swordfish rod absolutely perfect outfit for daytime sword fishing. If you can get your hands on a second outfit, an identical outfit, even better, you can fish a buoy rod and of course you'll have a backup. From there, gaffs, I can't stress enough, you know, I bring a variety of different size gaffs in different lengths. Uh, harpoons, I always have two harpoons rigged with at least five to 800 feet of line connected to those buoys couple of flying gaffs and some tail ropes in the event that you hook a really big fish and you need to secure him to the side of the boat because no big swordfish is caught until he's officially in the boat, that's for sure. Tackle, I can't stress this enough, make sure you bring a couple of extra sash weights, 8 to 12 pounds, we're usually fishing 10 pounds. A cooler, a small frigid rigid for your rigged baits to keep them nice and fresh, that's also really important. And of course your terminal gear, hooks skirts, your tools and crimping tools and, you know, extra crimps and rubber bands and little LP strobe lights, you know, whatever you think you're going to need, make sure you have extras because you're not going to get it out there. That's for sure. 